Thanks to you, the Big Island series has become the most viewed on my channel. Many people have asked if I could combine all four videos into one. Great idea. By popular demand, let's go back to the Big Island. Welcome to Japan Dream! Aloha! We start our journey in Yokohama. From here, it's a quick 30-minute train ride to Haneda. No one around, but I managed to find a friend. All right, here we go. Off to the big island of Hawaii. Let's go. The layout of Haneda International Airport is really impressive. Lots of food to choose from too. Japan was still under restrictions when I traveled, so Haneda Airport was pretty empty. After a six-hour flight, I arrived on Oahu. Then flew to the Big Island on Hawaiian Airlines. Home sweet home. It was the first time being back in over a year. It felt great to get back to my roots. I was there during early spring. Even though it was warm outside, there was snow on Mauna Kea. This is one of the best places to relax in Hilo. Liliokalani Park. This park was donated to Hilo from Queen Liliokalani. My grandma used to call this park Nihon Koen because of all the Japanese structures in the park. A lot of people come here to walk and for exercise. Hawaii's official bird, the nene goose. On to Moku'ola, also known as Coconut Island. A lot of families come here to swim and relax. There is a 20-foot tower to jump from. And people throw net fishing. You getting hungry? Yeah, me too. Let's get something to eat from Banyan Mini Mart. This place is stocked with lots of omiyage, snacks, drinks, and freshly made sandwiches too. Oh no, delicious. The Hilo Hawaiian Hotel. It's one of the two big hotels on Banyan Drive. Oceanside guests have a great view of Hilo Bay. Uncle Billy's Hilo Bay Hotel was once a local favorite. It closed in 2017 and is scheduled to be demolished. This is the Grand Nani Loa Hotel. It opened in 1939. It's home to the famous Crown Room. I played here in the 80s with the band Jadisons. That's me, the skinny one in the middle. The Nani Loa Hotel was also once home to one of Hilo's most popular clubs, Poly Room. Unfortunately, it's been closed for several years. 
a lot of great memories here. We make our way down Banyan Drive to Reeds Bay. This is one of the few white sand beaches on the east side. Nene also like to hang out here. Coming up next, we're gonna go visit some of my local friends. But before that, mahalo to the sponsor of this episode, Hawaiian Water. It's pure water that comes from Hawaii. You've seen their bottles on flights from Hawaii, and now you can get them online. Servers are available too for your home or office. Click the links below for more information and check out their Instagram too. Mahalo. From Banyan Drive, we pass by more of Hilo's iconic locations. Ken's House of Pancakes. Waikiakai Plaza. In the 80s, this was the hot place to hang out. The Game Center Fun Factory was here. And the Waikia Theaters too. My good friend Eddie has a shop close by. Let's go check him out. Eddie, what's up? Hey, Vance, how are you doing, man? <laughs> Long time no like see, bro. It's been a while, bro. Long time, bro. Okay, so Eddie, hey, show me around. What kind of stuff you guys get here? Oh, all right, Vance. So we got a lot of like different uh, proteins, uh, you know, weight gainers for for a lot of the different types of athletes. Uh, we have a lot of different like pre workouts, you know, re recovering aminos. Okay, so Eddie and I used to work together in radio at KVIG, so Eddie, in your best radio voice, sell your store. All right, if you're ever in the Hilo era, don't forget to drop a mic to all tight sports nutrition and listen to Hilo's number one radio station, 97.9 in Hilo, 106.1 in Kahulu, Kona, KBIG FM. Aloha. Waiakea Recreation Center. This is where a lot of people come to learn martial arts. There is a sumo ring in the back too. This is where I learned how to swim. Anyone can come and enjoy the pool. When it first opened in 1973, locals called this place Olympic Pool because of the Olympic size dimensions and triple tier diving tower. Now to one of the most famous venues in Hilo. Edith Kanakaole Multipurpose Stadium. This is the home of the Merry Monarch Festival. Every year in early April, this venue is packed with thousands of spectators and dancers from around the world. Let's walk to one of my favorite places to eat, Leung's Chop Suey. If you like Chinese food, you gotta check this place out. I always get this, Leung's Famous Rice Cakes. Time to go visit another local friend. He works at Iona Car Sales. Who could it be? Multi Nahoku Hanohano Award winning artist Mark Yamanaka. Hey, how's it, Mark? How's it? How's everything in Japan? I, I'm missing Japan right now. <laughs> it's been years since I've been back. People want to rent a car or buy a car in Hilo, where should they come? Come to Iona Car Sales, link up with me, and I'll set you up. Tell us about your boys' band Crossing Rain 2022 favorite entertainers of the year at the Mahoku Hanohana Awards. Super proud of my son Jordan and his friends and his buddies. Check them out, Crossing Rain, um, on Instagram, at Crossing Rain. So how much of his talent is him and how much his talent is you? <laughs> uh, it's 99% his talent, 1% mine. Humble Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Everyday local. Uh, me and my friend Kellen Pike released this in 2021 with some of our, our favorite favorite local music and some originals and um, yeah we were nominated um, last year at the Hokus 
yeah, just two friends making music. That's what music is all about. I just want to say mahalo for your support. Thank you for always um, supporting my music, for following me on social media and sharing your hula. And I cannot wait to see you folks in Japan shortly. Mahalo, Mark. We start our trip from Hilo and head up Saddle Road. It rains a lot in Hilo, which is nice. But when locals want to get a lot of sun, we drive to the other side of the island. And just like magic, as we approach the mountains, it clears up. Gilbert Kahele Recreation Area. This is the only rest stop on the Daniel K. Inouye Highway. It features a nice play area for the kids, and most importantly, restrooms. You can even stay over by applying for a permit. The view of Mauna Loa is breathtaking. We move on, passing through the mountains. My original plan was to drive to Kona first, imagining it would look like this. But as luck would have it, a rare downpour. Hey, you want to hear a funny story? <laughs> We reach Kona and it's raining. What? Ah, easy. No problem. When it's raining in Kona, it's usually nice in Waikoloa. Mahalo to Mark Yamanaka at Iona Car Sales for the awesome rental. Since we're on this side of the island, let's cruise by Kauaihai. This is home to a popular local surf spot. When conditions are good, the rides are long and fun. Just 10 minutes away by car is the world famous Hapuna Beach. When I was growing up here, the right side of the beach was basically empty. That all changed in 1990, when the Weston Hapuna Beach Resort was built. Although beautiful, Hapuna can be dangerous too. So check with a lifeguard if you have questions. Lucked out and found some chukka near my car. We arrive in Waikoloa in the afternoon. Queen's Marketplace. It's one of the most famous spots in the Waikoloa Beach Resort area, with over 30 shops and places to eat. Queen's Marketplace is also home to one of my favorite supermarkets, Island Gourmet. K-pop mega group, BTS, once visited here too. This place is dynamite. Sending that one out to my sisters. Let's move on to Anae Ho'omalu Bay. A great place to swim, relax, and meet green sea turtles. We arrive at our destination, Hilton, Waikoloa Village. This resort opened in 1988 as the Hyatt Regency Waikoloa. It became the Hilton Waikoloa Village in 1990. Before the sun goes down, let's go check out my favorite place. The gym. This is the newly opened fitness center in Ocean Tower. It has everything you need to get in a great workout. A 
a beautiful Waikoloa sunset to close off an amazing day. Let's go check out the rest of the hotel in the morning. Ohayou gozaimasu! Good morning! This is my room in the Ocean Tower. It comes with a really comfortable king-size bed. Okay, let's see what it looks like outside. Uh, it's been super windy the past couple days here in Waikoloa and Kona on the west side. This is what it looks like. Let's go explore more of the hotel. Lots of waterfalls here. Check out this four acre salt water lagoon. The Hilton Waikoloa village is so big, there are trams and canal boats to take you around the hotel. This area was once known as Lagoon Tower. It's now called Makai, or Oceanside. We head to the coolest suspension bridge on the Big Island. Here's the ocean view. And the mountain view. Aside from the bridge, the Kona pool area has lots to see. There are many fine restaurants throughout the Hilton. Kohala Provision Company is one of the best. Excellent food and a great spot to watch the sunset. Here's another restaurant located next to Dolphin Quest. You can actually touch and swim with the dolphins. To participate in Dolphin Quest, make a reservation on the hotel's homepage, link below. This beautiful white sand beach runs along the main lagoon. Plenty of fun things to rent. Behind the main lagoon, you'll find more areas to relax. How's this for the ultimate place to get a massage? There is even a wedding chapel here. And Sunday church services too. We continue our walk and head to the Ocean Tower. There are three pool areas at the Hilton Waikoloa Village. This is the Kohala Pool. The area behind Ocean Tower is the perfect place to chill. It's also a great location to watch the sunset. You can find Hawaii's official bird, the nene, here too. From Ocean Tower, we head to Palace Tower. The architecture here is amazing. Perfect timing. The tram is here. Doors are now closed. Go 
From Palace Tower, we catch the tram to the main lobby. This is the main lobby. Mahalo for the ride. Ahui ho. I hope you enjoyed our trip to the Hilton Waikoloa Village. Growing up on the Big Island, this place was like Disneyland to me. Trams, boats, and the ultimate place to stay or visit. We start this episode at my Airbnb in Kona. I love staying at hotels in Hawaii. But when I'm on a budget, this is the way to go. This room came with a really comfortable sofa bed, a pull-out desk, and a mini kitchen too. A bathroom with a hotel-like shower. Lots of storage space. With taxes, it cost me about $120 a night. Great deal. We drive down to Kailo Akona, surprised to hear my group Vance K Van on the radio. Mahalo Kappa FM. Shinji I can't believe it. Hilo Boy is playing on Kappa FM. Wow. After all we cared, I'm the only one who can fill your life with joy. I'm your Hilo Boy. This was Kona's main airport from 1948 to 1970. We're driving on the actual runway. Almost feels like we could take off. This area is also called Old A's, which is Old Kona Airport for short. Kona is known for many great surf spots. Old A's is one of them. Mahalo Mark Yamanaka and Iona Car Sales for this awesome rental. Close by is one of Kona's most popular shopping centers, Kona Commons. It's home to many shops and restaurants. My favorite store, Office Max, is here too. And across the street, you'll find Long's Drugs and Target. We move on to Kailo Akona's famous Ali'i Drive. On the right, the legendary King Kamehameha Hotel. If you need some drinks, snacks, or omiyage, there's an ABC store on the first floor. On the side of the hotel, there's a beautiful white sand beach. Kona Kayopuna Canoe Club keep their canoes here. Kailo Akona is also famous for the Iron Man Triathlon. Walking on a Lee Drive under blue Kona skies. Priceless. Nearby is the Hulihe'e Palace. Built in 1938, this was once the vacation home for Hawaiian royalty. Today, it's a museum. We make our way along Ali'i Drive 
to Kona Inn Shopping Village. This historic open-air mall features boutiques, galleries, and shops. Kona Inn Restaurant offers great food and an impressive display of world record catches. Let's go check out the backyard of Kona Inn Shopping Village. This is a great place to relax. It's also one of the best areas in Kona to watch the sunset. Up ahead, the Royal Kona Resort, once known as the Kona Hilton. The Kona branch of the radio station I used to work at is here. K-Big FM, Kappa FM, is next door. On the side of the hotel, a salt water pool and relaxing views of the Kona Coast. We drive by Kona's most famous surf spot, Banyans. Novice surfers to pros surf here. Surfing legend Shane Dorian grew up in Kailua Kona. This is one of his favorite surf spots. Back in the 80s, I remember watching a teenage Shane Dorian win almost every contest he entered here. No waves today, just having fun with friends. We continue our cruise on Ali'i Drive. Laaloa Beach, also known as Magic Sands or Disappearing Sands. The beach got this cool nickname because a few times a year, the sand disappears with big storms. This is a great beach for bodyboarding, but it can get dangerous in high surf. So always check with a lifeguard if you have questions. And don't forget your suntan lotion. Our last stop in Kona is Ali'i Gardens Marketplace. This is a beautiful open air market filled with lots of unique shops. Want to send a postcard from here? How about by coconut? We finally head to the place that I've been talking about in my last four videos. To me, this is the home of the best plate lunches in Hawaii. Ali'i poke and shave ice. My good friend Yoji runs this food stand. He lived in Japan for many years and has a famous Hawaiian restaurant in Tokyo called Ogo Onoloa Hawaii. What's up, Vance? Long time no see, man. <laughs> yeah. so Surprise you, man. Knock on the door. So, Ryoji, how are things going here? Pretty busy because uh, the whole thing is we're supposed to open three food outlets. Uh, this being the first, then we have a food truck sitting right up there. And we have a, out, uh, we have a restaurant bar that's already outfitted called Aloha Vibes in the Kona Inn Shopping Village. One of their many hot sellers is this ahi katsu plate. Oh no, delicious. My partner CJ, we get like three bolts, you know, we get our fishes fresh. It's slamming, but we probably get like, <laughs> like 80 orders today. 
The poke is always good. We sold out of poke like two hours ago already. Please leave a message to our viewers in English and Japanese. Check me out, man. I've been in uh, Hawaii for uh, a few years. Minasama, Ogo, Onoloa, Hawaii no Kekasama. Please uh, come down, come visit me. Uh, I'm in Kona. Ali Poke and Chee Vice, Kailo Kona, Hawaii. Come and join us. Time to head back to Hilo. On the Daniel K. Inoue Highway, we're greeted by a huge rainbow that stretches across the sky. Downtown Hilo, the old Crest Building. This famous landmark was built in 1932. Along Kamehameha Avenue, you'll find all kinds of shops from ukulele stores, restaurants, and lots of galleries. Extreme Exposure Fine Art Gallery is run by international award-winning photographer Bruce Omori. His vivid works are truly amazing. Mahalo Bruce. Aloha. Please come visit Extreme Exposure Fine Art Gallery in Hilo. We make a right to another famous landmark in Hilo, Palace Theater. I remember standing in a long line with my family to watch Jaws here. This is also where I saw Star Wars for the first time. It's good to see the Palace Theater still being used for plays and concerts. Next door is where I used to work out, Spencer's Health and Fitness Center. Nearby is Mo'ohale Bus Terminal and one of Hilo's most popular restaurants, Cafe Pesto. On to Hilo Farmer's Market, where you can find a great assortment of fruits and vegetables. And of course, the Big Island's famous papayas. This place is open seven days a week from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. One of the things locals love to do in Hilo is take a cruise down Keokaha. My friends and I spent a lot of time here. Great memories. This is one of Hilo's most popular beaches. The park was named after Elsa and George Richardson. Mr. Richardson, who is part Hawaiian, often fished in Keoka. This beach is also home to one of Hilo's most famous surf spots, Richardson's. There's a brackish water pond here. It's a mixture of fresh groundwater and seawater. Look closely and you'll find fish and tiny shrimp called opai. There are a lot of great places to shop in Hilo. I'll show you two of my favorites, Big Island Candies. You're greeted at the door with free samples. In 1977, local boy Alan Ikawa and his wife started their chocolate-covered dream in a small warehouse. Today, Big Island Candies is one of the best places in Hawaii to buy cookies and sweets. And they've expanded, offering all kinds of cool creations. While you shop, you can also watch the workers make Big Island Candies signature chocolate dip shortbread cookies. Mahalo to my good friend Lance at Big Island Candies for all the Ono treats. If you need to buy gifts, or want to get something sweet for yourself, 
Stop by Big Island Candies. We continue our tour of Hilo. Walter Victor was a local police officer who dedicated a lot of his time coaching youth sports. Today, this complex, named after him, is enjoyed by many local families. Next door is Hilo's only auditorium. It was built in 1957. I remember watching the UH Hilo Vulcans basketball team play Patrick Ewing's Georgetown here. I also saw the new kids on the block, Marky Mark and Expose perform. The Afuk Chinin Civic Auditorium grounds is also home to the Hawaii County Fair. When I was working at KBIG FM as a DJ, we did live reports from this stage. It feels like yesterday. From the stage, there's a great view of Francis Wong Stadium and the Edith Kanaka Ole Multipurpose Stadium, the home of the Merry Monarch Festival. Sui San, established in 1907, is still a local landmark, known for its fresh fish. Back in February of this year, the Big Island was blessed with the biggest snowfall in years. Mauna Kea, covered in snow. Absolutely breathtaking. Right after this trip, I had to fly back to Japan to MC a big concert tour with my friend Kanai. I needed some new shirts. I knew exactly where to go. Sig Zane Designs in downtown Hilo. This is my other all-time favorite store in Hilo. Their award-winning clothing are silk-screened. Sig cuts out the designs by hand. Luckily for me, Sig was at the store. All of his designs have a deep meaning, like this beautiful shirt called Hilo One. This is our Hilo shirt, and I did it for this place that we were actually born in. I think that the streets are like the webbing of the community. All of these places are so important to Hawaii. You know, have a different experience that each of us can have and take with us as we uh, experience them. But yeah, Hilo'one, the sands of our birth. These are the shirts Sig personally chose for me. Mahalo Sig. Come to Hilo, come to visit us. You know, and then maybe if you're lucky, you get to see the volcano while you're here. we we'll see you soon. Ahoy ho. What an amazing trip. As I get ready to fly back to Japan, all I can think about is how lucky I am to call this place home. Wake up to the break of dawn. Classy Honolulu. Sunrise is such a sight to see. We cruise to the plaza on the Uka side, down to Kaoka. What a beautiful drive! Oh, yeah. Take me back to Hilo. Take me Hilo. Take me back to Hilo. I hope you enjoyed our Big Island series, featuring part one, Hilo. Part two, Waikoloa. Part three, Kona. And part four, back to Hilo. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks to you, the channel's gotten this far. I really appreciate the support. 
Mahalo so much. I'm Vance K. See you again soon on Japan Dream. I feel the liquor holding on to my breath, playing back every word that I said. I'm sitting in the dark, reminiscing on the two of us.